In this video tutorial, we're going to download and use Camtasia Relay. Relay is a very easy to use program that allows you to record your computer screen along with your voice narration. The files are saved at radarcast.grcc.edu slash relay slash your username. The recordings may be embedded or linked to Blackboard so that your students may view the recordings later. The program is available on many campus computers and it's also available for you to download on your personal computer. We'll begin by downloading and installing Camtasia Relay to our personal computer. We'll open a web browser and go to relay.grcc.edu where we'll enter our username and password just as we would to log on to Blackboard. We'll select the appropriate download for our hardware and then we'll save the installer file to the desktop. We'll run that file in order to install it on our computer. Afterwards, you may want to choose to delete the installer program. With a web browser such as Firefox or Internet Explorer open, go up to the address area and enter relay.grcc.edu followed by enter. Enter your username and password just as you would do to log on to Blackboard and then click the sign in button. Click on download recorders and then choose the appropriate download for your computer. Click on save file and choose the area where you would like to save the installer. I'll choose the desktop and then click save. You may now close out your web browser. On your desktop you'll find the execution file. Double click that and click on Run. Click on Install followed by Finish. At this point you're offered the opportunity to sign in to Camtasia. You may do that if you're ready to make a recording right now. Notice on your desktop you have the Camtasia Relay icon. You also still have the execution file there which you no longer need. You can right click that and delete that if you wish. Be sure though that you leave the Camtasia Relay icon on your computer. Once Camtasia Relay is downloaded to your computer, using the program is as simple as clicking on the Relay icon and logging in using your username and password just as you would do for Blackboard. You'll select a profile, I'd choose the RaiderCast option, and enter a title and description for your project. Select the microphone device that you'll be using, and it's always a good idea to conduct a voice check. You may even want to run a short test. You can choose to set pause and stop shortcuts the first time you use this, but it's not necessary afterwards, and this step is not necessary at all. From your computer desktop, double-click on the Camtasia Relay icon. Enter your username and password just as you would for Blackboard. If for some reason this menu didn't show up, you could always log in over here. I'm going to press the Login button or simply press Enter. Now we select a profile by clicking on this down arrow. You should select RaiderCast. Enter a title and description for your project. And then we should check our microphone device. Select the small down arrow next to the microphone icon and choose your appropriate device. Check your voice levels. You'd like these levels to be easily in the green or up to the yellow. If we move this button, we make the voice a little bit louder. If I adjust my microphone, I may get into the red level and that's too loud. Your voice levels should be up as high as the yellow. If you'd like, you can conduct a test by pressing this blue button. This will automatically record for 10 seconds and you'll get a chance to play this back and check that your voice levels are correct. 
Just press the play button to hear your recording. This will automatically record. If all is well there, we're ready to record. At this point, feel free to record, or if you'd like, you can set some hotkeys. I'm going to press the hotkeys, and I've chosen to set a pause hotkey and a stop hotkey. I've set my pause hotkey as control alternate P and I selected the button that I preferred here and I checked the other the control and the alternate. I did the same thing for the stop hotkey. Press OK and now those hotkeys are selected. To make a recording, all we have to do is click on the large red record button. We have the ability to pause the recording or to stop the recording when we're finished. We can also trim the beginning and the end of the recording if we wish. Once we're finished, we can submit this for processing. When the processing is complete, we'll be sent an email notification to our GRCC account. To make a recording, it's as simple as pressing the record button. Notice it counts down to the start time. Now whatever I see on my screen and whatever I say is being recorded. If I'd like to take my students through a little video tutorial of using the internet, I can do that. Or if perhaps I want to record a PowerPoint presentation, I can do that as well. If I want to pause or stop, I can use my hotkeys or I can also press the icon down here below and select pause or stop. To resume, I would simply press this again. Also, if this box is not showing up, remember it will probably be down here at the bottom of your screen. I'll resume once again, and now I'm ready to finish my recording. Once again, I can use my hotkeys, or I can come down here and click on this box and press Stop. The recording is now finalizing. And now, if I'd like, I may choose to do some trimming here. You can play this back. If you've decided that you'd like to take off part of your recording, you can move this recorder head, choose the Trim button, and on the left-hand side, you can set the Start. Notice this is now highlighted in red. You can then play and find the end of your recording. I'm going to use the recorder head to go to an end point. Press the Set Presentation End button and notice that's now highlighted in red. So the only part that will actually come up in your presentation will be this middle part. It will automatically cut off the beginning and the end here that you have set. At this point now, you can choose to discard this if this isn't to your liking, or you can submit the project. I'm going to submit this project. Again, I can set a profile, and I have the practice title there. Press OK, and now it will automatically upload and an email will be sent to my GRCC account. Press OK once more and we're all finished with our presentation. You can log out now if you wish. To retrieve your recordings and link them to your Blackboard classes, view the next Relay tutorial entitled Use Relay Recordings in Blackboard. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and thanks for listening.